Hey guys, coming to you live from Mexico. Next video, sun protection. Let's talk about that. All right guys, so first of all, the sun is an awesome thing. I love being outside, love being at the beach. I'm currently in Mexico right now enjoying myself. Um, but you know, too much sun can be a bad thing. It can lead to premature aging, wrinkles, skin cancer, melanoma, um, some pretty nasty stuff. So you have to be safe in order to enjoy yourself. Um, I'm not saying you have to cover up entirely or anything like that all the time. Um, there is a safe way to enjoy yourself. So as everyone knows, the first thing you can certainly do is wear a sunscreen. Um, you want a broad spectrum sunscreen, which can definitely uh, cover for both UVA and UVB rays. Um, you wanna make sure that you apply it liberally over your entire body, any exposed area whatsoever, and even some unexposed areas, because a typical t-shirt only carries about a 15 SPF uh, for protection. The other thing that can certainly happen is, um, you know, too little sunscreen in terms of an SPF count can cause some pretty nasty burns and still lead to skin cancer risks. Um, so you wanna make sure you use at least 30 or higher SPF. Um, like I said, with the broad spectrum um, sunblock. Now, the other thing too is make sure your sunblock's not expired. A lot of people don't check the expiration dates and it can expire and literally it's just applying lotion to yourself. It's not gonna protect you from the sun at all and that can certainly lead to skin cancer and premature aging, things like that. So definitely check your sunblock expiration dates. It's really important. Now, the other thing too is making sure you apply sunblock after you get out of the water, after you've been sweating for a while, or if you've been in the sun for two hours or longer. Um, personally, I like to put it on about every hour if, I'm, if I know I'm gonna be out in direct sunlight. Um, since I've been on this trip here in Mexico, obviously we're near the equator. It's gonna be a lot hotter. The sunlight is a lot stronger here. Uh, so the risk of burning is real. And so I typically will apply the sunblock very liberally, regularly, about every hour or so. Um, and if I get out of the pool or shower or anything like that, if I go snorkeling, diving, um, I definitely reapply right afterwards just to avoid burning and just any skin damage whatsoever. On top of sunblock, uh, like I said before, you know, obviously wearing clothing, t-shirts, um, shorts, hats, sunglasses, things like that. Um, you can use certain types of makeup that'll help your face. Uh, it is important to wear sunblock on your lips. Uh, your lips can burn um, and you can get skin cancer on your lips as well. I've seen it before, it's pretty nasty. It can be certainly a bad thing. If you're gonna be at a pool or if you're gonna be at the beach, certainly bring an umbrella. Um, here at the resort that I'm at, uh, there's umbrellas everywhere. I'm currently sitting in the shade and wearing a hat as you can see. I've had a ton of sun the past like three, four days. So I wanna make sure I'm keeping up with my sun protection I and staying cool as well. Uh, the other important thing too is make sure you're hydrated Hydrated. Um, being hydrated is certainly a great thing. Certainly, the one thing to remember is that the sun is at its absolute strongest from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., uh, especially during those summer months. Uh, the sun is beaming down on you. You know, if you're further south, if you're close to the equator, uh, that's really when you want to be super safe around um, direct sunlight exposure because that's when you're going to fry in the sun like a sizzling piece of bacon. Uh, now you want to make sure that in those types of areas that you really do cover up, you know, wear a wide brimmed hat. If you're wearing a baseball hat, make sure you cover your ears, the back of your neck um, and your face with sunblock because you will get exposure from the back uh, depending on what um, area you're facing. Uh, make sure that you really uh, cover both your feet behind your knees, uh, your legs. Uh, you can develop skin cancer anywhere and that's what you want to avoid. So if you apply the sunblock liberally everywhere, you'll definitely get good protection. Last but not least, make sure you stay hydrated. That is super important when you're out in the sun. You can get dehydrated just by sitting out in the shade in hot weather, uh, just from breathing, sweating naturally, things like that. Um, you know, in between your tequila sunrises and your daiquiris and everything else, uh, make sure you have adequate amounts of water. You wanna be drinking at least two to three liters a day. Um, obviously, if you have certain health conditions um, that you shouldn't be drinking an excessive amount of water, probably shouldn't be in direct sunlight either. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you stay safe out in the sun. I know everyone back home in Massachusetts is certainly bearing down with some rain and snow right now. Sorry for you guys out there, um, but as these summer months approach, certainly take these tips and use them to their full advantage. I promise, you know, skin cancer is a horrible thing, but if you stay protected using sunblock, cover up sunglasses, stay in the shade every once in a while and reapply that sunblock, uh, you'll be perfectly fine. You can certainly avoid skin cancer. So signing off from Mexico. See you later, guys. I'm Matt, the Bowtie Guy.